This is why I don't shoot in a city because. Oh, oh, oh my god. Does my mini sound like that? <laughs> um... Hello, hello, good morning. Um, how are you guys? Today it is Sunday, the 19th of July, and I am just prepping to go on a little shoot day um, with my friend Hannah Cooper. I'm just trying to find her address on my phone so I can put it in. But I thought I'd start the vlog now so I can have like a bit of a chatty one because I'm gonna be driving for like the best part of two hours. So that's probably not gonna be very fun content for you. And I will be like singing along to the radio and it will be a mess. So let me just find her bloody address. I'm going to pop it onto Waze. What do you guys use? Do you use like your phone maps, Google Maps, Waze? I'm a bit of a Waze lover, I'm not going to lie. So I don't think I mentioned, but the weather is really bad today. So we've changed the whole day. We were meant to be shooting like up in like South Kensington, Notting Hill kind of way in London. But the weather is so great. I love how like the whole week is really sunny. And now today it's just like awful. It's just standard, isn't it? Um, okay, what is the quickest way? Oh my god, yes, okay, got it on Waze now. So yeah, I thought I'd kind of bring you guys along on my day. Um, no, I don't want to go with the toll charge. Okay, amazing. Yeah, so I thought I'd kind of, I thought I'd bring you guys along because, oh my god, sorry, my, I have to have my seat so, I have to have my seat so close to my wheel because I'm so bloody short. Um, but I thought I'd bring you guys along because I think it'd be a really cute day. And also, it'd be quite nice to kind of see, like, different areas. Like, you guys are probably so bored of seeing London in vlogs. So I thought, why don't I show you Hertfordshire? And I think we're going to go round, like, Hertford because I think that's quite cute. And then we're going to go to St Albans, which I know is so nice. I've got a really nice ivy there, but I can't afford the ivy right now because uh, Corona. But, um... I've got everything I need for the journey because it's going to be an hour and 34 minutes. So I've got my croissant in a box. Oh my God, I drew my croissant. That video, has anyone seen the, um, what's it? I think it's like a TikTok and it's like Shrek. If you don't know what I'm going on about then, sorry. Um, and then I've got myself some water. But I don't really know if that's enough to keep me going at this time in the morning. But we're going to give it a go. So I will see you um, when I get to Hannah's. So I've just arrived at Hannah's. Doesn't she look cute? Hi. Um, so we're gonna head out um, around where she lives. And look at her, she's so cute. She's got all her outfits like laid out. Whereas mine is <laughs> just shoved in my case looking disgusting. Um, I've finally eaten my croissant. I didn't actually eat it in the entire journey. So I just had it now and it was delicious, a little bit soggy, but I think that comes with just the fact you've been sat there for like an hour or two hours. But the driver's all right. It was, um, there was a lot of bad drivers out actually. I feel like I keep saying this whenever I go on the roads, like everyone's just forgotten to drive in lockdown. Um, so a few like near death experiences, but we were all good in the end. Behind the scenes, <laughs> want to get a cute bench pick, but the seat is so like wet. Look at you, you're so cute. So prepared, love it. Oh, what do they have? Oh yeah. Sorry, just trying to decide what to eat. Um, I feel like these sunglasses are really throwing my face off. They look, they're just a bit big for my face. So currently at Cafe Nero, I'm um, gonna get a little coffee. Well, I don't drink coffee, I'm gonna get hot chocolate. Um, I really feel like that fountain is so loud, so I am sorry if you can hear it. Um, but I'm gonna get a milkshake and some food. I'm so hungry, I've not eaten anything apart from that bloody croissant and it's now 2 p.m. So, I mean, if I was doing that like, what's it called? You know, that diet, uh, intermittent fasting, I'd be winning, but I'm not, and I'm actually just starving. Well, ain't this cute? Do you smell? Is that my face? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> We're in like mid picture mode. So I don't, have you even touched your drink yet? No, not yet. No. It this, picks. Yeah. God, we are so, oh God. Right, let's get back into it. Oh my goodness, oh my God. Can we take a moment? How delish. I love camembert. I've not had it in so long. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, I'm doing the first dunk. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Look at like that. Banging. That looks yeah. so good. Oh my god, let me get the chip. Oh. Okay, taste test. Oh my god, that's so good. That's unreal. Mmm. So we are now on to our next location, which is Hatfield, Hatfield House. Hatfield House, which is like some fancy place. I'm pretty sure once someone told me that Henry VIII lived there. Like legit, like he fully lived there apparently. 
or one of his wives. I like don't know. YouTube slash history lesson. I know, God, I got a D in history, so I actually probably Did don't you? Listen to it. I was so bad at history. Um, I loved it, but I just didn't get it. I got all the dates wrong. Um, but yeah, that's where we're heading. Um, I think it's meant to be really cute. I think it's like lots of parks, not parks, gardens and things. So yeah, fingers crossed it won't be too busy. Um, but we have to pay to get in, which is a bit hard. Okay, so the house was closed. It was closed for like movies. It actually seems quite cute, like movies in the park. Um, so we're now in St Albans, which is like a little city kind of nearby on this cute little street. Um, we've just shot a couple of photos here, but we're now on the hunt to find a car park to do two more. Um, I really haven't been very good at showing you guys actually what I'm doing. Um, I should have bought a tripod and like showcases, like actually taking the pictures, but I just didn't even think. Um, so... Yeah, we got, I think Hannah's got two outfits left. I've got one outfit left. And then we are done. And then I get to sleep. Oh, guys, I slept so badly last night, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know what it is. I keep having really vivid dreams. Um, I don't know whether it's a lockdown thing. I know lots of people have been having them, but mine just seems to continue post lockdown. It's very strange. Okay, I'm on my final outfit of the day. It's the pull and bear top. I think it was in my last video. If my last video was a summer haul one, I literally am forgetting my YouTube schedule right now, but I love it so much. This Miami Dreamer, it's so cute. And then I've got this new bag from River Island, um, which is like a baby blue. I'm obsessed with baby blue. I feel like I keep having color moments. And right now, baby blue is like my fave. So we're gonna head into the main town. I'm gonna film a bit of it because I've, I've actually been really bad at filming where we are. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna be heading off home. So I've only been to St Albans like twice in my life and it is so quiet right now. I still find it mad like how there's just not a soul around anywhere. It's crazy. Look how cute Hannah's outfit is by the way. It looks so nice. <laughs> Total brunch outfit. She always looks better than me. It makes me really sad. All right, so we are done. Um, last outfit basically was just really awkward to do because we just had a load of cat calling. Standard. This is why I don't shoot in a city because... Oh, oh, oh my God. Does my mini sound like that? <laughs> um, okay, I don't know why I'm filming this. Okay, now it's quiet. Just lots of creepy people around um, cat calling. That is literally like the worst part of the job, but I'm gonna head on home now and I will see you when I'm at home. Oh my gosh, I am back home. I know, such a long drive, it's 95 miles there and back. <laughs> Lot of driving, um, but I'm just, oh look, here's my dinner, I'm so excited. Mum's been buying this like gluten-free, I think it's made out of quinoa, rice and corn. Um, so she's made a little carbonara, but obviously because we're all trying to be a little bit more health conscious. We've been buying this pasta. We actually bought it from this shop in Petworth, um, which is a great shop, no no hate to it, but they literally charged double the price. So we've actually managed to find it on, was it a cardo? Mm. Yeah, on a cardo. It's delicious. Actually, if we got it, I wanna show you guys what it is. So it's this pasta here, if it's gonna focus. So it's this pasta, it's like, Corn, brown, rice, and quinoa is delicious. Um, so I'm gonna have that now. Um, I am slightly concerned that this vlog's not very long, so I might potentially, no promises, obviously you'll know anyway by the length of this vlog, I might potentially like take this over to tomorrow to kind of show you like a day in a life at home. Um, but I'll see how I feel. I'll see how my face looks tomorrow because this makeup has been on since like 7 a.m. Um, so my face might be really spotty and then in that case, that will be the end of the vlog, but I'll keep you updated. Oh my God, I almost forgot to mention, sorry, I have not made my bed since this morning because I had to leave so early. But one thing that I always do every single Sunday is I write out my to-do list for the next like week or like the next day. Um, so that is what I'm gonna do now. I don't have a huge amount, I don't think, to do tomorrow, just a lot of like editing stuff. And then what I also do is something that I've actually only recently started doing, which is really bad. Oh my God, look at that sunset. God, it's so shiny. Something else that I do is I do my expenses. So I literally keep all my receipts in this little notebook. Obviously you can tell that I've only just started doing it because the notebook's not very full, but I'm gonna do that as well to kind of like keep on top of things because because when obviously you start a company, um, which I have, then you have to kind of like do your own 
money and tax and all of that jazz so i'm trying to keep on top of it as much as i can so that is the plan and if you're if you're wondering because i always forget to mention when you guys ask me so this notebook here is from oh dear um i think it's from their like um subscription box and then my normal notebook which i love so much i got this for christmas it's lasted ages this is from alice scott and it's just the most stunning notebook and it's kind of got like this dotted paper it's fabulous um so i'm gonna write this out now don't really know what I'm going to put in it. You know what? What always happens is like I write two things down and then I think of a million more things. Like, can you guys relate? Because I feel like my to-do list, uh, uh, this happens every Sunday. I'm like, oh, I haven't got much to do. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh, actually I do. Um, but yeah, I have decided I am going to film tomorrow because I feel like I really want to show you like a proper insight into like a homey day of mine. Um, and my bed will be made tomorrow. I promise. Like today is just a bit of a write-off. Hello, hello, good morning. So it's about nine o'clock. Um, I've just got out of bed. I have actually been up for quite a while, but I was just kind of having a chilled one. Um, my hair is really looking a bit crap, so I'm gonna try and sort that out. And then I am heading off for coffee with one of my really close friends. This is kind of like a pre-lunch break because I normally do work kind of for the whole day so I kind of take like a morning off in the hour to go for a coffee or something um so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna sort out my hair and then I'm gonna go for coffee there's this amazing little cafe um it's based like in a little village where I live it's gorgeous I think it's called the post house cafe it's stunning I love it so I'm gonna head there and then I will actually get on with the rest of the day but I don't think I'm gonna put makeup on I put this um if you watch my tanning video you will know what I'm talking about. So I use this James Reed like face H2O mist and I use it at night and I haven't used it for a while. And literally just like the smallest, like I maybe did like four sprays, literally just makes my skin kind of so nice and tanned and glowy. I love it. Um, although it sometimes does come off with a makeup wipe. So I'm kind of like, do I bother? Probably should. Maybe I will sort my face out then respray it so that I don't actually look too weird because the worst thing is when you tan and then your face is like pale AF and then your body is tanned that is like not a good look but anyway I'll stop rambling now I feel like hair genuinely makes all the difference like I'm such a hair person more than a makeup person I've got my little outfit on this cord is from charcoal clothing it was in my last video which is like my summer haul so I've linked it there and then I've just got these little like sandal things on from new look which make my feet look huge like I do have size six feet but they make them look really big and then my sunnies are my Ray-Ban ones and these are the best sunglasses ever Hello. Hello, mister. Oh my god, look at you. You are so gorgeous. Hi. Hello, Ollie. Oh, I think you can smell my skincare on my hand. Not a fan, are you? Oh, you are so cute. Oh my god. Aww. You know what? This is really rare because normally he's actually not very nice when he's outside, so. I'm surprised he's being like this, but I'll take it. Most important thing you could do today, a bit of SPF, love it. Here she is. Hey. We've come to the little coffee shop and I've actually got myself a mocha. Like I genuinely have coffee for once in my life. She's like a coffee whore. I've never known a girl drink so much coffee. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know whether you guys can relate. Like coffee just makes me feel really anxious. I get like the shakes and I feel like the world's gonna end, but I am wanna the like try and get into it. you a mocha. I yeah, like it. the team at the um, Post House Cafe. Is it Post House? Post Office? Post Office Cafe. Post Office Cafe. They are so cute. So I do trust that this is gonna be delish. I'll let you know. One thing I've only recently found out about Ella is that she's actually a really good cook. So we're having carbonara for lunch. I hate mushrooms, but we are, what's the word? We, <laughs> I don't even know the word. What is the word? It's like, um. I don't know. Anyway, I really hate mushrooms. I can't think of the word. Um, oh, compromised. We compromised and had mushrooms, so that's great. Um, but then we got the sauce, which is from Morrison's. So actually, I say she's a good chef. I mean, make, it's the sauce. sauce today. No, nah, but you are quite good at it normally. She normally like, bakes it. I'm very good at cooking. You are good. I am so I bad. I my brownies last week. They were delicious. Oh my God, I should have like taken a picture of them. They were so good. But um, the day's actually taken quite the turn because we're now going off to like the little reservoir in Henfield. Are you all right? <laughs> so my uh, day in the life is probably gonna be more like a kind of evening in the oh, life. Oh, did you look at that? There's already bacon in there. Oh, 
Shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. So we're joined with the gorgeous Caitlin now, Hello. and we've come to the reservoir near where Ella lives. It is stunning. Although there's some people over the other side, and when we heard them, we were like, "Why are you here?" It's like a little secret place. I think you knew, and then Everyone other people else. just found out. Yep, really. I mean, we are acting a bit selfish. Not, it's not our reservoir. Not ideal, but <laughs> but it's oh, fine. Well, it's it's all right. It's all right. But yeah, it's really pretty. I haven't actually shown it. There you go. Lovely. So my day in life of an influencer is just sunbathing. Yeah, sunbathing. There we go. I couldn't even think of a word to say. I was like, um, what is it? Um, I'm not lazy. I promise. Huh? Sunbathing with factor fifty. There's nothing wrong with factor fifty. I did put some on. I put some on earlier. It's all good. God, you two must judge me so much. Anyway. I'll catch up with you in a minute. So we're just heading back now. Um, I'm actually going to get on with the rest of it. Don't worry, I won't film you. Oh, thank you. Caitlin's having a wee. Um, yeah, it's currently, what time is it? 5.18, so really not done much. I don't know why I do this to myself. Again, like I feel like today has just been so boring. Um, I'll film a little bit when I'm back. Like I've got a few bits to do. Two days in the life of Becky. Huh? Two days in the life of Becky. Yeah, today. Yeah, I said oh my wait. God, that took you ages. Oh, she's coming. She's running. Run, girl. She's running. Love it. Love that. She's running. She's running she's for her life. life. She's oh my running. God. She's running. Bloody <sighs> hell. Um, we were just chatting to some yeah. lady who was, um, she goes swimming here. She's so cute. She's perfect, yeah. Because lots of people swim here. I don't know whether I said that earlier, but like, I don't think I ever could swim here, to be honest. <laughs> do you know, we've, we've apparently planned to swim next time we come, but I was just like, I'll bring my water shoes because like the mud ugh, makes me feel a bit sick. What? We could definitely put tinted tent. Yes, we thought we'd go camping. The last time I camped was Duke of Edinburgh and I cried, so that's good. Yes, this way. But um, this way. yeah, we're walking through a lot of brambles now, so I'm going to turn the camera off. Oh my gosh, I really feel like I've caught the sun today. Um, so back home now, I've done a few emails. So I don't know whether I mentioned to you guys that um, I'm in the midst of planning like Ibiza, um, and I've just been like trying to like get on with that and reply to lots of emails. So even though it didn't seem like I was doing much work today, I was actually on my phone quite a bit, just replying to emails, and that's kind of like how I run my day. Um, so I know it may seem like I'm literally like just hanging out with my friends, but I am on my phone a lot, which like I know is not great, but I do, I think I'm quite good at like multitasking. I can like be on my phone and chit chat. So I've done that. And then Hannah and I have just ordered a tie. I mean, it's literally like 26 degrees. So I can't imagine it's probably what most people would have, but I love Thai food so much. It's literally my favorite takeaway. Um, oh my God, my hair, God, I've got serious hat hair. Um, so we're gonna get that in like 15 minutes. I'm so excited. Then I think after that, I've got to like kind of go through my to-do list that I wrote yesterday and I've got to do some PR unboxing as well. So I'll show you guys kind of what I've got like over the weekend and towards the end of last week. Um, Cause there's some really cool stuff, but yes, we're gonna go collect our tie now. So, oh God, I can't wait got the goods omg i'm so excited okay um let me open this up so if you guys know me you know that i order a red thai curry but all i have is the sauce and the chicken i'm so fussy and you're the same you don't have any of that stuff no i don't know where this fussiness has come from because like mum and dad aren't but it's just us it must have been like something at school i don't know so strange but I can't wait to tuck into this. I will catch you guys afterwards. This is literally what I mean when I say I have just sauce and rice. We're watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I think this is like, what season is it? Five. Season five. Oh my God, you have raced through this. Bloody hell. So you guys know that I had that coffee earlier, right? I tell you what, like as delicious as it was, um, it's made my stomach feel so weird, like all of today. I just have like this horrible sick feeling. I just feel really nauseous. Um, and I don't, I feel like there's only one shot in it. So I'm definitely um, not gonna be having coffee again for a while. Like, I don't know what it was. Like I did get that horrible anxious feeling. It just didn't happen straight away. It was like two hours later. And I was just sat in Ella's house and I was like, oh my God, I can't cope. What is this bit of hair doing? It's really stressing me out. Um, oh my God, it still won't move. Okay, I think it's meant to be that side. Um, yeah, I just was not, and I'm still not feeling great. Like, that Thai food was good, but 
again I just feel a little bit gross but like I said I'm going to show you what I have received in PR over like the last few days so obviously I normally like put these things on my story which is what I'm going to do as well but I thought I'd do them on the vlog show you guys what I've got so I'm actually going to be working with Lee Stafford on um, a campaign because they've launched their like new ranges of Coco Loco I think they've actually done this for a while but it's new packaging for sure like I'm pretty sure it used to be like a pale pink colour and it smells amazing so I've got the dry shampoo, conditioner, shine, mask, mousse, heat protection mist and shampoo. I love Lee Stafford, they're literally one of my favourite like hair care brands. So I'm really really excited to be working with them on this. Next up we have this like stackers jewellery box. I'm not going to show you like too much of this but this is for my jewellery collection um, video that's going to be going live like in a few days. Um, so they've just like sent it over. Um, I really actually like these boxes. I'll speak about it more obviously in the video. Um, but stackers are such a good brand for jewellery because like you literally can customise the box to whatever you want. But I won't show you too much but I am really grateful that they've sent over this gorgeous one. So next up we have a few products from a PR so they've sent over um, guava and gold body lotion and bath and shower gel I've never actually heard of this brand but the products feel nice and weighty should we see what the packaging looks like I haven't even opened them yet oh let's have a look oh cute oh yeah that's nice Mm, very nice. I'm excited to get into using them. And then they've also sent over um, a brand called Zoetic and CBD Massa. I think it's all CBD. Yeah, so CBD night cream, um, CBD facial drops. I could probably do with using these today, actually, because my anxiety is literally through the roof and I probably need, like, something relaxing. Maybe I'll, like, rub some of this, like, into my upper body so these products here are from a brand again that i haven't actually um really heard of before it's called lusso tan and the reason why they really intrigued me um was because this bath bomb here removes tan like removes fake tan and i literally can't wait to use this like how incredible and then they've also sent over their rapid tan in what shade is this does it even have a color um no, okay, okay, natural golden shade. Um, not really sure what that is, but I think it'd be quite nice, obviously, if it's natural and golden. And rapid tan is always good. Um, I'm excited to see, like, what colour this comes out as. Hopefully, it's not, like, that brown colour. I'm not a big fan of, like, um, really brown tan. And then, lastly, they've sent over this face and hand mist. And, obviously, as we know, I love a mist. Um, and my James Reed one is actually running out, so... It's actually really good timing for this one. How many times do I say actually in that sentence? Bloody hell. OMG, Murad are literally my favourite skincare brand ever. And they've sent over their City Skin SPF. I have wanted to use this product for so long, but it's been sold out. So I'm really excited that they sent it to me. I actually cannot believe, like, for this amount of product, bearing in mind this is it for size reference, it costs... Um, 60 pounds so this better be the best sun cream i've ever used in my life to be fair um these like little plus things are making it seem like it's going to be really like high protection so i think i'm going to save this for my holidays um but yeah i can't wait to finally use this and then james reed have sent over a few products i believe this is their new product which is click and glow um it's tanning drops so i'm assuming you like pop them into your moisturizer so i'm excited to give them a go they've also sent over a mist um i think this is different actually to the last mist because this is a rose glow water mist and i think my other one's like just a normal h2o one and then they've sent over their sleep mask tan um this is like a face one i actually really like the body one as well and just a mitt because you know you can never have too many mitts and that is i believe absolutely everything i've been sent in pr so i'm literally going to pop these on my story now Okay, amazing. So all of the stories are up. I actually really enjoy um, posting my stories. Um, I just wanted to mention as well, because I don't know whether I did. Let me turn the camera around. So I didn't actually mention in the last clip, but I just wanted to say how grateful I am for all the amazing um, PR products that I get sent. Um, obviously, like, as you guys probably see from people, like, that hair, again, what is going on? Um, Obviously, like, as you can see from, like, my page and obviously other influencers, like, we do get sent a lot of products. So I do um, giveaways quite often and I also, like, give products to family and friends. Um, but I am actually really excited about the ones that I've received over the last few days because that CBD stuff is literally calling to me right now. Like, oh my god, my anxiety. I said it on my story. My anxiety is through the roof. Anyway, guys, I think I am actually going to end the vlog here. I know that the days in the lives, like, yesterday and today, has been a little bit... Um, 
hectic but that genuinely is like I'm not lying to you guys that is just how my days go sometimes like sometimes I just think to myself you know what I'm gonna have a day and I'm gonna see my friends because I think that's gonna be like best for how I'm feeling and like it's also just like nice like the weather's stunning as long as I kind of keep up to date with emails I'm kind of like yeah that's all right um I am gonna do a few bits on my to-do list now because there is still quite a lot but that's gonna be a bit boring for you to like just watch me sit and do that so I'm gonna end the vlog um now I really hope you guys liked this video let me know if you're interested in me actually doing like a proper at home day in the life like I will make sure that I don't have any plans that day and I can really like sit and actually explain to you like a proper day but anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet be sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one bye